Hi everyone, welcome to SGR Online Learning Center. In this video, we are going to discuss about leverages. Before we get into the topic, let's have a look on this picture. That will help you to understand the leverage concept more pretty well. In this picture, you can see that a person who is trying to move this big stone with the help of a long rod and a small stone which is placed under the rod. Once he places a small stone or small force or fulcrum here, he can easily move this big stone without using much force, right? In this picture, a small stone which is placed or fixed under the rod is the lever. Lever is a simple tool which is used to lift or move heavy objects easily without giving much force. In this picture, with the help of this lever, he could easily move this heavy object. This is what the leverage principle says. That is, firm can earn more profits or more financial benefits with the lesser amount of force or lesser amount of risk. That is, without taking much risk, firm can easily earn more financial benefits. Now let's see how the leverage concept has the connection with the business. Based on few important elements, the leverage technique has been applied in a business. That is fixed cost, fixed return and risk. Fixed cost is nothing but the financial expenses that a firm has to incur in order to carry out the operations of the business. Whereas, Fixed return is a financial expense which is met by the firm when it raises funds. Say so for example, if the firm has raised funds through long-term debts, it has to pay interest expense. If it is raised by the firm through preference shares, it has to pay preference dividend. These financial expenses are called as fixed return. When the firm is required to pay fixed cost or fixed return, there is always an existence of risk. Now come to the point, what is the meaning of risk? In business, risk is termed as variability of expected return. When we do a business, we will expect certain percentage of profit as a return but there is no assurance that we will get the expected return right. This is because of uncertainty. So that it is necessary for the business to tackle this risk by using fixed cost and fixed return in a wise manner to get more financial benefits. This is what the way the leverage principle has been applied in a business. Now it's easy for us to understand the meaning of leverage. Leverage is the ability of the firm to use its fixed cost assets and funds to enhance the return to its shareholders. One of the main objectives of financial management is wealth maximization of shareholders. That is, Shareholders are always expecting high return from the company in which they have invested. So, giving much return to the shareholders is possible with the ability of the company. That is, the ability is held in the hands of company. That is how it uses its fixed cost and fixed fund to increase the return. That's what the leverage principle says. That is the ability of the firm to use its fixed cost and fixed funds to increase the return to its shareholders. Now let's see the types of leverages. There are three types of leverages, operating leverage, financial leverage, and combined leverage. Operating leverage, talks about the ability to use fixed operating cost to magnify the effects of changes in sales on its earning before industrial taxes. That is, it talks about 
the ability of the firm to use its fixed operating cost to increase the sales to have an effect to have an impact on its operating profits understanding of the profitability statement will enable you to get clear picture about the three kinds of leverages have a look on this picture in this profitability statement first of depicts operating leverage second of depicts financial leverage the entire profitability statements talks talks about combined leverage simply to say combined leverage is the combination of operating leverage and financial leverage here operating leverage reveals the operating risk or business risk of a firm here we can see sale is the major source of revenue of the business from sales the operating expenses are deducted to get operating profit that is ebit earnings before interest and taxes among this operating cost or operating expenses fixed cost remains constant for particular level of operations whereas the variable cost varies according to number of production sales and revenue so operating leverage talks about the ability of the firm to use its fixed cost in order to increase the sales to have an impact on its operating profit that is a percentage of small change in sales will have an impact on operating profit let me explain this with an example assume that you are running a beauty parlor for that you have taken 1000 square feet space in a building and you are paying or 7000 rupees per month as a rent here the rent payable by you is a fixed cost already i told you fixed cost remains constant for particular level of production okay with this available space you are trying to get more customers by using more advertisements quality in service providing offers discounts after taking all these efforts your customers may increase from 30 to 100 in such a situation your revenue will be increased right whereas you are not going to pay any additional amount as a rent as you are using the same 1000 square feet space for your business this is what the operating leverage talks about that is the ability of the firm to use its fixed cost because the fixed cost remains constant for a particular level of production in this example you are paying the rent for a particular space where you are doing your business it's the fixed cost it remains constant for particular period of time by using the same cost by using the same space you are trying to get more customers that is you are trying to increase your sales once the sales increases once the number of customers increased automatically the operating profit of the firm also getting to be increased this is what the operating leverage that is the ability of the firm to use its fixed cost in order to get more sales to have an impact on ebit operating leverage is calculated by applying this formula that is contribution divided by ebit contribution is nothing but excess of sales over variable cost ebit is 
operating profit. Next one is financial leverage. Financial leverage talks about the ability of the firm to use the financial charges, that is fixed financial charges, to magnify the effect of changes in EBIT on the firm's earning per share. Financial leverage reveals the financial risk of business. Already we have seen operating leverage talks about the operating risk or business risk of the firm. Whereas the financial leverage talks about the financial risk of the business. That's why it has taken up the second off of the profitability statement. That is the area in which the firm meets its financial expenses. Here we can see from operating expenses, sorry, operating profit, the financial expenses such as interest and preference dividends have been deducted in order to arrive at the earnings available to equity shareholders and to know the value of EPS. These fixed financial charges such as uh, interest on debentures and dividend on preference shares do not vary with the operating profit. That is, these charges have to be paid regardless of the amount of EBIT available to pay them. That is, whether the amount is the EBIT level is high or low. It is the headache of the firm to pay the interest as well as preference dividend. So after paying all these financial charges, if any amount is left out, that's what the amount belongs to equity shareholders. Therefore, the financial leverage tells that the ability of the firm to use these fixed financial charges to enhance the effect of EBIT on firm's earnings per share. Financial leverage is nothing but the mix of equity and debt financing. Financial leverage is calculated by applying this formula that is EBIT divided by EBT. Next one is combined leverage. Combined leverage is the combination of operating leverage and financial leverage. Operating leverage measures the percentage of changes in operating profit as a result of percentage of changes in sales. Operating leverage indicates the operating risk of business. Whereas financial leverage indicates the financial risk of business. It measures the percentage of changes in taxable profit as a result of percentage of changes in operating profit. Both these leverages are closely concerned with firm's ability to meet its fixed cost and fixed return. If both these leverages are combined, the result obtained will reveal the effect of changes in sales over the changes in taxable profit or APS. Combined leverage is calculated by applying this formula, contribution divided by EBT. Thank you guys. Hope this video will help you to understand the leverage concept more easily.